Tired of your games being choppy at 1440p resolutions? Well, no need to worry because in today's video, we'll look into the top 5 best GPUs that'll take your 1440p gaming experience up by the horns. We've got options here, from affordable workhorses all the way up to full-blown powerhouses that'll make your games look and run like never before. Let's check them out. First, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, the entry point into NVIDIA's current generation of GPUs based on the Ada Lovelace architecture. Now, despite the entry-level title, this card packs quite a punch for 1440p gaming, especially if you are coming from an older GPU. The RTX 4060 is built on a trimmed-down version of the Ada Lovelace architecture. NVIDIA has made some interesting choices here, opting for a 128-bit memory interface and sticking with 8GB of VRAM. While this might raise eyebrows among the future-proofing crowd, it still delivers where it counts. After all, efficiency is a standout feature here. With a power draw of just 115 watts for the reference model, this card sips power compared to its predecessors and competitors. Plus, you won't need any fancy 16-pin connectors either. A standard 8-pin does the job perfectly. Performance-wise, the RTX 4060 doesn't disappoint. It manages to outpace its predecessor, the RTX 3060, by about 20% at both 1080p and 1440p resolutions. This means you'll be able to enjoy smooth frame rates in most modern titles at 1440p, especially if you're willing to tweak a few settings. But where this card truly excels is in its feature set. You get access to all the latest Ada Lovelace goodies, including DLSS3, with frame generation. This can be a game changer in demanding titles, potentially boosting your frame rates significantly. Now, while the RTX 4060 can handle ray tracing, you'll likely need to lean heavily on DLSS in more demanding titles. It's not going to deliver the same ray tracing performance as its bigger siblings, but for a card in this price range, it's still impressive. Speaking of price, the RTX 4060 hits a sweet spot for those looking to step into current-gen GPU territory without breaking the bank. It offers a considerable performance uplift over the previous generation RTX 3050, making it an attractive option for budget-conscious gamers looking to upgrade. So, if you're after a GPU that handles 1440p gaming with ease, offers excellent efficiency, and provides access to NVIDIA's latest features, all at a reasonable price, the RTX 4060 can be a solid contender. I know these days, anything around the $400 to $500 price range isn't really considered mid-level anymore, but that's where we're at with PC gaming budgets. And if you're willing to spend that kind of money on a graphics upgrade, at least you'll get some great performance out of the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT. Now, you'll want to think about how important ray tracing is to you. If you really value ray tracing, you may want to check out the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Super instead, since it does ray tracing a bit better, which we'll cover shortly. But honestly, if raw performance is all you care about for gaming on your PC, then the RX 7800 XT is probably the best mid-range card out right now in terms of value. For 1440p gaming, it can consistently maintain 60 frames per second or higher in the latest titles like Cyberpunk 2077 when set to the highest graphic settings. And if you use upscaling techniques like AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution to maintain smooth frame rates, it can even handle 4K in many cases. Compared to previous generation cards, the RX 7800 XT trades blows with high-end options like the RX 6800 XT and RTX 3080. It also often beats out NVIDIA's own RTX 4070 in standard game benchmarks. The only time the 4070 really gets an advantage is in titles that focus heavily on new ray tracing effects. But the kicker is that the RX 7800 XT is cheaper than the RTX 4070 while delivering similar non-ray tracing performance. So if you don't need cutting-edge ray tracing, this is a killer 1440p option that gives you a lot of power for your dollar. Next up, we've got the AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE, a GPU that's shaking things up in the high-end 1440p gaming arena. This card is a testament to AMD's commitment to pushing the boundaries of performance while keeping an eye on value. The RX 7900 GRE is built on AMD's cutting-edge RDNA 3 architecture, featuring the larger Navi 31 GCD. This gives it a significant boost in compute units compared to its little brother, the RX 7800 XT. While AMD has dialed back the GPU and GDDR6 clocks a bit to balance things out, don't let that fool you. This card packs a serious punch. When it comes to raw performance, the 7900 GRE delivers about 10% more frames than the 7800 XT, making it our top pick for Team Red enthusiasts who want to squeeze every last drop of performance out of their 1440p setup. 
It's not just about raw power, though. This GPU also brings some neat tricks to the table, like AV1 encoding support and DP2.1 video output. One area where the 7900 GRE really shines is efficiency. Thanks to its clever design of more processing clusters running at lower clocks, it's currently AMD's most efficient GPU. It even outperforms the previous Gen 6950 XT while sipping significantly less power. Now, the big question is ray tracing. While AMD has made strides in this department, they still trail behind NVIDIA, especially in games that go all in on path tracing, like Alan Wake 2. So, if you're dead set on getting the absolute best ray tracing performance, you might want to look elsewhere. But for traditional rasterization, the 7900 GRE holds its own against the likes of the RTX 4070 Super, often matching its performance at a lower price point. Another feather in the 7900 GRE's cap is its generous 16 GB of VRAM. This future-proofs your setup a bit, ensuring you won't be caught short as games become more demanding. So, if you're after a high-end GPU that delivers exceptional 1440p performance, impressive efficiency, and a feature set that's ready for the future, all without completely emptying your wallet, the RX 7900 GRE is definitely worth a hard look. Up next, we have the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Super, one smartly upgraded graphics card. This thing is no mere refresh. It's practically an RTX 4070 Ti in disguise with a serious performance boost over the regular 4070, all while using less power too. That makes it perfect for 1440p gaming, and it can even handle 4K pretty well with NVIDIA's new DLS3 tech. I was already impressed by the regular 4070's performance, but the Super variant is around 10% faster in benchmarks, which is definitely enough of a bump to make it worth the slightly higher price tag. Now, don't get me wrong, the original 47 is still a great buy at its price. But if you want your system to stay potent for longer, the Super is probably the better investment. The speed increase is big enough to justify spending that little extra. Plus, I'm sure NVIDIA had to keep the 4070 around just to compete with AMD's killer Radeon RX 7800 XT. But the Super easily beats it in benchmarks. Really though, if you're looking for the perfect blend of performance for your dollar, the 4070 Super hits the nail on the head. It runs circles around last gen's top dogs, the 3080 and RX 6800 XT, while sipping less power too. So with this GPU, the latest games will run smooth as butter at 1440p. And the absolute best graphics card for 1440p gaming right now is the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Usually, when a new generation of GPUs comes out, you see minor improvements like bumps in processing power or memory speeds. But seriously, AMD really went all out with this card. I mean, we've got a whole new architecture with RDNA 3, a smaller manufacturing process, bigger caches, redesigned shaders. It's insane how much better it is than previous cards. And it absolutely shows in the performance too. A lot of people say it's really a high-end 4K GPU, so you can only imagine how well it'll do at 1440p. Compared to their last-gen RDNA 2 cards, the 7900 XTX is up to 20% faster in games. But in some titles, it's an even bigger leap, like Final Fantasy XV, where it's noticeably better. That's because this card has more powerful shaders, higher clock speeds, double the FP32 units per shader, and a huge jump in memory bandwidth over the older RX 6950 XT. The increase from 16 gigabytes to 24 gigabytes of video memory is nice future-proofing too. And the ray tracing performance on RDNA 3 blows me away, enough to justify the higher price in my view. Pair one of these with a beefy CPU and a nice ultra-wide monitor, and the latest games will be maxed out butter smooth without question. Simply put, no GPU on the market right now comes close to touching what the RX 7900 XTX can do for killer 1440p visuals. It's on another level compared to previous graphics cards. So if you want the absolute best experience and don't mind paying a premium, this thing is a no-brainer. Thanks for sticking around. If you're looking for more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button on the channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon too, so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video at Flexiviews.